Hello everybody, welcome to Guitar Play Alongs. My name is Tony and in this video I will show you my best advice for gaining control over your playing. We take a detailed look into what is called rhythmic displacement. So what is rhythmic displacement? If you haven't heard about it, I will cover you shortly, as you know. Um, rhythmic displacement is a method where you shift your starting position in the grid of 16th notes, or it can be triplets, whatever, it doesn't matter for us right now. But um, you, you play a lick, you play a scale or a sequence, and you shift the starting position by just one sixteenth note. So in the first example, we start on the downbeat on the one. Uh, the second example will be starting the sixteenth note behind the downbeat, so to say the second position uh, on the grid, uh, on the third and on the fourth, obviously, as well. And you will realize that the feeling of the notes you are playing slightly change because the downbeat falls on other positions of the line. So in my personal practice, the method of rhythmic displacement is an important checkpoint. This checkpoint will show me if I am in control of what I'm playing or if I'm not. Maybe you can make this method work for your own licks and own guitar solos you're playing. So just give this method a try in your own playing and practicing. If you prefer printable tabs, backing tracks, guitar profiles, backing tracks in different tempos, downloadable uh, play along videos, please make sure to consider subscribing to my Patreon. The link you can find in the description box down below. If you're new to the channel and you like these kind of videos, please don't miss out in subscribing to my channel and you will be notified if any new play along will be online, which is twice a week at the moment. So watch out. I will now shortly explain the lick we are playing today. If you don't need this explanation, feel free to skip to the beginning of the play along the timestamp you can find in the chapter. View. This lick contains of what I call 5-3 shift or 3-5 shift, depends on the di direction I play. We play five notes on one string, then three notes on another string and then we shift and the sequence starts all over again. For example, the lick starts on the eighth fret of the high E string and we play five notes on the high E string. One, two, three, four, five. Then we switch to the B string, play only three notes descending. One, two, three, and then comes the shift. That means one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, shift. And here we do the same five, three, shift, uh, but uh, obviously we follow the a minor scale. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, shift. Five again. One, two, three, four, five, three, shift. It's always the same. It changes when we reach the G on the A string because then we play the way back. We do the same but ascending and then we begin with three notes on the string and the next string will be five and then the shift follows. That means one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, shift. And again, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, shift. The lick ends um, without being completed for the returning uh, segment because I want to make sure that we always have this little gap to rejoin and refill the rhythmic, uh, rhythmic displacement. Just a little uh, advice at the end, please make sure to closely watch uh, if you are starting with an upstroke or with, an down, with, with a downstroke. I marked it in the tabs so you will be safe. But watch out, we are not always starting with a downstroke. Enjoy, bye.
it, you're done. Uh, check out these videos as well. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy your day. Keep on practicing. See you next week. Bye.